Greetings, brothers and sisters. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I do is give God praise and glory for waking me up, his grace and his mercy um, to give me another day on this earth to help minister to someone else, to maybe be a light to someone else, to enjoy the time with my family and my friends. But there's another thing that I physically require when I wake up. And that's uh, since I was a little kid, I've had uh, obstruction with my vision, right? So I can't see clearly. I see colors, I see shapes, I see movements, but I can't see clearly, right? There's an obstruction there. So in order to see clearly, I have something that helps me, which is these prescription glasses. And once that I put them on, everything's clear, which is really awesome because now I can see clear. I can see everything around me, you know, I can see, just see clear. Well, much like spiritual blindness, if we're not taking the time to put on the righteousness of God and we're not taking the time to study his word and really ask for discernment and wisdom and understand what we're reading, we just look at a chapter or a verse and go, mm, okay, you know, you read it and you think that you understand, but there's like a deeper meaning. You can be spiritually blind to what you're reading. And just like if I take these glasses off, everything's a blur, but I put this on as an aid to help me see clearly. It's how the Holy Spirit will work through us. If we take the time and spend that time with God, it's very important, very important to develop that relationship. Um, my message is gonna be short today, but what I'm gonna focus on today is Matthew 6, 5 through 8. Um, it's talking about prayer and you know, people have different um, opinions and perceptions of, you know, how you should pray and things like that. But I'm clearly going on or strictly going on um, Jesus's words here. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may have, may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy Father which is seen in, which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask him. Mark 135 says, And in the morning rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there he prayed. It's very important for us to take that quiet time and pray with God um, in secret. You know, whether you have a, a prayer closet or um, however you want to do that. But I can tell you firsthand, lots of prayers were answered from that prayer closet. Those those prayers in secret to God, just that between me and God, and I've seen so many prayers answered. Pray in your inner room to the Father who is unseen. When you pray, do not babble on like the pagans. <laughs> they think by their many words, they will be heard. There's references to this in 2 Kings 4.33. Proverbs 25:22 and Acts 9:40. Satan wants to be all seeing and all knowing. We know that God is omnipresent and omnipotent, right? He's all seeing and all knowing. Satan doesn't have that power. The only way he can do this is by hearing what we say. He doesn't have access to what we are thinking, only influence. So by saying things out loud, the demonic spirits hear Technology hears everything you are saying. Technology knows everything you purchase, where you go, what you like. When you pray, go into your quiet place and seek God with your mind, heart, and soul. He will hear your prayers. He already knows them, but wants from us the desire to obey and cry out to him. He gives us free will, whereas Satan tries to trap you in bondage like the angels held down in chains. 
Um, also references like the prophets of Baal who confronted Elijah on Mount Carmel with their babbling in 1 Kings 18, 26 through 29. It is important for us to read our Bibles, to open our Bibles up and have quiet time with God. Put your phones away, also suggesting that you are using an actual Bible versus your phone to read the word. While your phone can be a great tool, that's what I'm using right now to record this video, um, it can also be a distraction. And so we know that that's how Satan likes to distract us from spending that time with God. So my encouragement today is just to take some time, pray, ask God for discernment and wisdom, take the time to study scripture, even if it's just a couple verses, and ask that God speak to you and reveal to you his word. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.